Hello and welcome to another video. In this one I will be showing you the material test feature in Lightburn, how to set it up, and to fine tune for engraving. To find this feature, go to the top of the page, click laser tools and select material test. This will open up the material test panel. In this panel you will see a lot of options. The left side column relates to the speed of your machine, I have a CO2 so it is in millimeter per second. At the top you have a couple of presets and you can save your own. Let's take a look at one. The presets will load some parameters for you, these can still be changed to whatever you want. As it's an engraving test, my power will be on the lower end. My machine can run up to 500 mm per second, but I don't like to max it out so I will set it to 400 mm. If you then click preview you can see what it will look like. You can see that Lightburn has worked out some parameters for us based on the minimum and maximum values we put in. If you want tighter values you can adjust the max which will change them for you. This helps if you really want to fine-tune your engraving settings. You can even set it to do 1% each time or half percent. If you find the settings are good for example, between 200 and 280 mm per second, you can input them to get a range of values in between the two. We can also change the line interval if you know what you want to use. There is also a test for this if you don't know what yours is. This can be found in the material setting near the bottom. The lower the interval the higher the DPI is, this means the closer the lines are. Having your interval too low will cause overlapping of the lines, this will drastically affect your engravings. In this box we can choose to cut out our test card if you wish. Simply put in your cut values. If you want bigger engraved boxes we can change that too. You can adjust the height and width of them or both if you wish to do so. We can also adjust the amount of rows and columns we want. This reduces time and material usage and helps fine tune settings. The blue cut test editor at the bottom is to input values of the text it will engrave for your values. As long as you can read your results this isn't overly important.
You can fine tune as much as you need in order to achieve the results you want. Next let's take a quick look at the cut preset. As you can see the preset has a lot going on and we don't need that many values, also it is never a good idea to run a CO2 machine above 70% power, so let's change some figures. You will need to adjust all the presets to suit you, unless it is your first ever test, then this will give you a wide range of results. This is one of mine. From learning my machine I know for a lot of materials this is a great start. My machine will engrave at 500mm per second but details in fine work are lost over 300mm. A good range for mine is shown here. This is on a 80 watt CO2. That's it for this video. Just a little look into material tests, I hope it has helped, see you next video.